morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the trustees and team at the IBCC, I would like to welcome you for our annual service of remembrance. 2020 has been a year of great challenges and they continue to invade every aspect of life, including the moving of today's ceremony. Thank you to all of you for amending your plans to be here with us today. You will see a few cameras around filming the ceremony today, which will allow us to share the service with people around the world via our social media platforms on Remembrance Sunday and Armistice Day. We are also pleased to welcome BFBS, who are here filming for Forces TV. For the IBCC, the challenge has been, in the main, financial, with the threat of closure at the end of January a real one. I am delighted to say that with the help and support of the Heritage Lottery Fund, Department of Media, Culture and Sports, and hundreds of our supporters, the medium term future of the project is secure. The whole team were very moved by the number of wonderful and supportive messages received during the fundraising effort. Thank you all. One of the casualties of this year has been the planned celebrations for the 75th anniversaries of VE Day, Op Manor and Op Exodus in May. This was supposed to be a time of great joy and celebration. Those of you who have attended previous remembrance services will no doubt be missing the musical accompaniment of the IBCC choir and orchestra. You will, however, be pleased to know that they have been rehearsing both virtually and physically throughout the last six months, and so will be in fine fettle once they are allowed to return to play again. Our thanks to both Crawford and Heather for keeping that flag flying. As part of today's service, you will hear our roll of honor for all those veterans who have passed in the last year. Many of them were great friends of the project and we will miss them all. My thanks to the IBCC volunteers and staff who are contributing to today's service. As we gather here today, we remember all those that have given their lives in conflict and give thanks for the freedoms we enjoy today. Oh, I have slipped the surly bonds of earth and danced the skies on laughter silvered wings. Sunward, I've climbed and joined the tumbling mirth of sun split clouds and done a hundred things you have not dreamed of, wheeled and soared and swung. High in the sunlit silence, hovering there, I've chased the shouting wind along and flung my eager craft through footless halls of air. Up, up the long, delirious, burning blue, I've topped the windswept heights with easy grace, where never lark or even eagle flew. And while with silent, lifting mind I have trod the high, untrespassed sanctity of space, put out my hand and touched the face of God. Listen to the Wind by Cedric Roberts. Stranger, pause here a little while and listen to the west wind sigh with its tale of long gone men. Earth shall not see their like again. Stand by this stone and lend an ear and I'll show you ghosts of yesteryear. 
the wind socks creak, the cold winds moan, long dead men crowd, we're not alone. Look on this empty, lonely place. Do their shadows unseen still cross my face? Listen, far off thunder or a Merlin's roar, borne on the wind from time's receding shore. Abandoned, quiet, here I lie. Time stands still, though years roll by. Runways broken, dispersals gone. The only sound a Skylark's song. Half a hundred years have passed, half a century since I saw them last. Lancasters, black against the sky. Air crews, young, so many soon to die. They came from England and far distant shores, volunteers each one to defend liberty's just cause. These fractured runways know how many went, silent witness to youth's blood spent. I was created from the very earth for which they fought, my rich dark soil with their sacrifice they bought. In Lincoln yonder, their names are to be found. And know this, by their blood, you stand on hallowed ground. Let the tangled weeds that cover me remain, shrouding my memories of hope and pain. And as I return slowly to the land, let this proud stone in perpetual homage stand. So, stranger, continue now upon your way, but forget not those who it seems but yesterday gave all their tomorrows that you might live. For your freedom, they gave all they had to give. Why We Wear a Poppy by Don Cheadle. Please wear a poppy, the lady said, and held one forth, but I shook my head. Then I stopped and watched as she offered them there, and her face was old and lined with care. But beneath the scars the years had made, there remained a smile that refused to fade. A boy came whistling down the street, bouncing along on carefree feet. His smile was full of joy and fun. Lady, said he, may I have one? When she pinned it on, he turned to say, why do you wear a poppy today? The lady smiled in her wistful way and answered, this is Remembrance Day, and the poppy there is a symbol for the gallant ones who died at war. And because they did, you and I are free. That's where we wear the poppy, you see. I had a boy about your size, with golden hair and big blue eyes. He loved to play and jump and shout. Free as a bird, he would race about. As the years went by, he learned and grew and became a man, as you will too. But the war went on and he had to stay. And all I could do was wait and pray. The letters told of the dreadful plight. I can still see it in my dreams at night. With the tanks and the guns and the cruel barbed wire and the mines and the bullets, the bombs, the fire. Till at last, at last the war was won. And that's how we wear the poppy, son. The small boy turned as if to go, then said, thanks lady, I'm glad to know. That sure does sound like an awful fight. But your son, did he come back all right? A tear rolled down each faded cheek. She shook her head, but didn't speak. And I slunk away in a sort of shame. And if you were me, you'd have done the same. For our thanks in giving is oft delayed, though our freedom was brought and thousands paid. And so, when we see a poppy worn, let us reflect on the burden borne by those who gave their very all when asked to answer their country's call. Then we at home in peace might live. Then wear a poppy, remember and give.
Build to Four Sister Squadron by Jeff McGee. Age shall not weary them, though the years condemn, so truly says the ode. And as we age, we think of them, for whom life's course has flowed. Some died, still boys, in cruel war. For some, the tears have not yet dried. But all have given us a store of memories to recall with pride. Of ops we shared and the life we knew, and the squadron where we tried, to strike and return each time we flew, but sadly, where many died. Sometimes I hope that when I die, there will come a ghostly lank, winging through the nighttime sky to loud to land on a soft cloud bank. And out will step some angels, and those angels all will be those squadron mates of every rank come to escort me. And the pains of age will leave me as through the skies we soar with the sound of angels singing and the Merlin's ghostly roar. They shall not grow old, as we who are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them.
Frederick Young, DFM. John Jock Adamson. Bessie Thomas. Henry Harry Moss. Henry Wagner. Tommy Knox. Kenneth W. J. White. Bruce Cunningham. Jim Latimer. Ronald Davis. Wilf. Hatton, Howard Batson, Arthur Vic Vickers, Sidney Buzz Spillman, Charles Eric Barkley, Douglas Richard Cox, DFC, Ian Petrie. John Alwyn Phillips, Distinguished Flying Medal. Don Browning, Legion d'Honneur. Gordon Robert Crofts. Ronald Pearson. Don Southwell. Richard Cole Tilsley. James Dallows. Jack Laurie Lawrence. David Butler, Distinguished Flying Cross. Frederick James Richardson, Distinguished Flying Cross. Frank Elliott. Simpson Reed, Brian Gospel, Frank Elliott, Sydney Stevie Stevens, Distinguished Flying Cross, Noel Red Eva, Royal Australian Air Force. John Lewis Goldby, Distinguished Flying Cross. Desmond Hawkins, Distinguished Flying Cross. Ray Worrell. Harold Mercer. Mishislav Stakovich. Reg Fuller. Ron Parker. Ken Johnson. Jack Simmons. Peter Miller John Tony Gerard, Betty Clark, Ian Innes Legion Dinier, Gerald Jerry Norwood, Peter Parker, Jim Dello, Eric Colling, Jack Williamson. Thomas Allen, Edward Allen MacDonald, Tom Roger, Dennis Sharp, Albert Burt Edward Mason, Eileen Pickering, Hilton Ewan Young, Frank Stafford, 
Reverend Father John Bernard O'Connor. Ralph Tyrrell, MBE. Bryant Thomas Marshall. Donald Edward Southwell. Kenneth Charles Tweedy, Distinguished Flying Cross, mentioned in dispatches, Legion d'honneur. Ronald Cass, Distinguished Flying Cross. Donald James Don Browning. William Brody. Vernon Morgan, John Quine, Bruce Minnett, Thomas Fisher, David Butler, Ted Watson, Legion d'honneur, John Edward Charles Delfoss, Gordon Thomas Topham, Harry Richards, Joan Wilson, Morris Snowball, Ronald Ray, Cryder Annika Haslam, John Moore, Vincent Paul Tun, Bill Howe. Leonard Rackley, Distinguished Flying Cross. Bryant Marshall, Kenneth Law Sumner, Distinguished Flying Medal, Arthur James Robert Bob Jackson, Legion d'honneur, Ken Tweedy, Distinguished Flying Cross, Keith Salis, Eric Horsham, Peter Kesley, Fred Bowman, Pat Cairns, Peter Potter, George Howey, George John Gibbons, Joan Roddy, Edgar Pickles, Distinguished Flying Cross and Bar, Robert Leslie Les Rutherford, Francis James Jim Walton, member of the British Empire.
go home, tell them of us, and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today. Let us pray. Almighty God, in you alone we find safety and peace. We commend to your gracious keeping all the men and women who serve in the Navy, the Army, or the Royal Air Force, who face danger and put their lives at risk, so others might live in safety. Defend them day by day by your heavenly power, and help them to know that they can never pass beyond the reach of your care. Keep alive in them and in us your vision of that peace which alone you must seek and serve. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Lord bless you and watch over you. May the Lord look, make his face shine upon us and be gracious unto us. May the Lord look kindly upon us and give us peace. Amen.